What's up guys, it's Son Malik back here. And today I got some new Halo Mega Constructs news for you guys. We got one new image of a new set here. So let's just jump right into it. This is the Gungoose Rampage. And this set is pretty bland in my opinion. This is a set you can definitely miss out on and you won't be missing anything. So before we look at the figures, let's take a look at the builds here. We get one Shade Turret and one Gungoose. The Shade Turret is nothing special. We've gotten this before in many different color variants. And the Gungoose here is nothing special either. We've gotten this before as well. And another small set which included Noble Six. I'm sure you guys remember that, it came out a couple years ago. And that one did get a lot of hate for how they built the front guns on the Gungoose. Honestly, I don't like it either, it makes it look so large, and it doesn't look accurate to the game at all. We've seen a bunch of custom variants from other people in the community who've made their own Gungooses that look way better than this one here. And I'm not sure why Megablox stuck with this one. I really wanted to see them make a new design for this so that they could actually portray it in a better way. Because this Gungoose just looks really strange in my opinion, the front of it looks so large. Although it doesn't look that bad in this image, but when you actually have it in real life, it just looks really strange. I'm not sure why they didn't change that. But again, I don't think they're trying to revolutionize anything with this set. This set honestly just seems like a little bit of a cash grab to me. But on the bright side here, the figures aren't that bad. The Grunt isn't anything too special. He is one of the new variants of Grunts, so that is nice to see. You do get to customize him and everything, and he's going to be super articulated and all that. The Spartans here are definitely the highlight of this set. I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but about a month ago... We got a new Halo 3 anniversary set which included a Halo 3 variant of Rogue and Recon armor. And before that was the only way you can get those figures, but now they're included here in this green variant and they look pretty sweet. There's nothing too special about them, they're just green instead of red now. But it is nice to have another way to get these figures. If you didn't want to spend that much money on the Halo 3 anniversary Warthog, then this is a definitely a cheaper way to get these figures. And it's pretty nice that they did that I guess. But overall the set is not that great, and I definitely think you guys can miss out on this one and you wouldn't be missing too much. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend this set. But tell me what you guys think about this set down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think about this Gungoose. I personally kind of hate it. And I do have the old Gungoose as well. Which is essentially the same thing, just in an arctic camo. And I really don't like the look of it. But yeah, let me know if you guys like the Gungoose. I know there are some people that actually dig the look of it. And yeah, let me know if you guys are going to be picking this one up. I probably won't be, but that's just me. So yeah guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. As always guys, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Halo, Call of Duty, and Destiny news. Or anything else Mega Constructs or Lego then make sure to subscribe to my channel here to stay up to date with all of that. But yeah guys, that's pretty much going to do for this video. As more news starts to come out, I will be uploading more videos on that new news. But yeah guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.